Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Mike, your boy Mr. Cha here. And in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Smock or Smoke RPM 160 kit, as you can see right here. As you might be able to see, the kit includes one RPM 160 device, one seven and a half milliliter pod, two RPM 160 mesh, 0.15 ohm coils, one USB cable, the charger, and one user manual. So let's break into this and see what we got here. Oh yeah, and depending on where you get yours from, mine costs like 50, 55 bucks, give or take. 50 with my discount. And uh, that being said, like I said a little bit ago, let's jump right into the review. So this device right here goes up to 160 watts for the max power. Um, it features an IQ160 chip, balanced charging, mesh coils, um, replaceable dual 18650 battery, um, and it's portable and lightweight as well. So let's figure out how to get into the box. All right, so here we go. Comes with the user manual, RPM 160 kit. Some other information, etc., etc., and then it comes with the device itself, the charger, the two coils, and all that. So here's the device itself. Very nice, sleek design. I got the silver carbon fiber unit, as far as the color goes and the overall theme goes. Um, so yeah. Anyways, uh, like I said earlier, just throwing it out there, it comes with the charger right here. The two coils, I actually preloaded my coil, the 0.15 ohm coil into my pod right here. Um, to take the coil out of the pod, all you do is grab the coil at the base of the pod, pull it out, and um, align these two slits, you know, horizontally with these two silver, um, silver things very not a very specific way of saying it but uh these two silver uh, marks right there um and in any case that'll create a flush seal with the coil uh, the coil and the pod so that's how you you know remove and put back and then install the coil and i would show you how to you know physically remove and then reinstall the coil but i have e-liquid already preloaded into my pod right here so i don't want the e-liquid to start spilling everywhere um, so that being said, just you're gonna have to go off of what I said on how to install the coil and remove the coil and all that. So yeah. Also, this device does not come with batteries. It is needed to have purchased batteries in order to use the device. You need to buy your batteries separately, unfortunately. So I just bought a pair of 18650 batteries. The device holds two of them in total. So I'm gonna open them up. See what we got here okay and now i'm going to pop my 18650 batteries into the device itself so let's see just open the bottom that's where you access the battery area and then you just throw these in so positive will go this way uh forgive me positive goes this way yep and then there we go pop it in and it turns on automatically or maybe not okay so let's see let's turn it on five clicks turns it on and there you have it in order to lock the device you want to press it three times one two three that'll give it a power lock unlock it one two three power unlocked so obviously to adjust wattage you're going to want to scroll using these toggle buttons right here left or right up or down so i'm going to raise the and increase the wattage to let's go to start off at 50 watts so hopefully i gave my e-liquid enough time to set and set uh, you know settle and to soak up into the coils we're going to find out now so let's test it out and see how it vapes oh yeah and real quick as you can see there's massive airflow holes right here for the device and for the pod 
So plenty of airflow, I'm assuming, but we're about to find out right now. And also the charging port, the outlet is right there for the USB charger. Now let's vape on it. So I filled my unit up with e-liquid, should be ready to go. To fill it up with e-liquid, there's a little slab right here in the back of the pod. You wanna pop it open and then uh, close it in order to add e-liquid and all that good stuff. So we're gonna start vaping at 50 watts. Cheers, let's see how it hits. Wow. Tremendous amount of vapor production. Keep in mind, that's only at 50 watts too. Let's go up to 80 watts. Wow. Incredible amount of vapor production. Let's push it to 100 watts. I'm not gonna go any higher than that right now because I wanna get used to the product and the device. I don't wanna burn the wicks or the coils. So 100 watts, here we go. Cheers. Holy shit. This thing chucks clouds, chucks vapor. Vapor production out of 10, I'm gonna give a 10 out of 10, hands down. Um, as far as flavor goes for this device and for this coil and the pod, as far as how it produces flavor, very potent flavor, very rich tasting flavor. Out of 10, I'm gonna give the flavor a 10 out of 10. Um, the RPM 160, wow. Very nice product. Anyways, overall for this device, by Smock or Smoke, the RPM 160, I'm gonna give it, you know it deserves a 10 out of 10. It's getting a 10 out of 10 from me. So from me, I am giving this product a 10 out of 10 as an overall setup, an overall vape. Um, really can't beat it. If you have a chance, grab one, pick one up at your local vape shop if they carry these specific products, these specific vapes. Um, if not, find them, because they're very nice. Um, I'm very impressed. It's not even that heavy, and when all is said and done, it's sleek, it's slender, very nice design, and uh, it puts out a lot of vape, great flavor profile and content. And um, I have no complaints, to be honest, when all is said and done. Anyways, guys, this concludes this brief and quick review of the Smock or Smoke RPM 160 device. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, drop a like down below. Drop a comment down below. Let me know your experience with this device and how you like it and all that good stuff. And just feedback in general is appreciated. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, smash that subscribe button for more content coming out soon. As always though, until next time, cheers and ciao. Peace, catch y'all later.